All right, buckle up because we need to talk about something serious today. The idea that in the future we're all just gonna sit back, relax, let AI and robots and automation do all the work and somehow everything will be fine. I'm talking about this utopian fantasy where technology handles everything and we just sit there like we're in some episode of WALL-E eating food through a straw while machines handle the heavy lifting. Let me get this out of the way right now. That's not gonna happen. And if it does, we're heading straight for a societal collapse. Straight up to what I call societal suicide. Let's dive into why relying on AI to do everything is a terrible idea and how this blind faith in technology is setting us up for disaster. The first problem, a society without purpose. Let's be real for a second. What happens when you take away work, challenges, or any meaningful responsibilities from a human being? You take away their sense of purpose. For most people, a lot of their identity is tied to what they do, whether it's their job, their side hustle, their passion projects, or even raising a family. It's not just about the paycheck. It's about the feeling that you're contributing to something, like you're part of this machine that keeps everything running. Now, imagine we get to this AI-driven future where robots do all the job. We don't have to push ourselves. Sounds great on paper for sure, but the reality is, when people don't have something to work for, don't have something to strive for, when they don't have a reason to get out of bed in the morning, they break down mentally, emotionally, and even physically. It's like handing someone the keys to a luxury car, but then telling them they can only drive in circles for the rest of their lives. It feels pointless. You can already see this happening or manifesting in small ways. Look at the rise of depression, anxiety, and even substance abuse. A lot of this comes from people feeling like they don't have any real purpose in their lives. Sure, you can try to fill the void with distractions, entertainment, social media, whatever, but that's not what's going to fix the core issue. People need purpose. And guess what? AI can't give us that. The loss of skill and the death of human mastery. Another big issue we're heading towards is the death of human skill and mastery. Think about all the things we as humans have gotten really good at, whether it's cooking, crafting, engineering, designing, you name it. These are things that give us a sense of achievement and pride. It takes years to master a skill, and that process teaches you patience, discipline, and perseverance. Now, what happens when AI takes over all these tasks? Imagine an AI that can paint better than Picasso, write better than Shakespeare, or cook better than any chef. It might sound cool at first, yeah, but what happens to the people who want to master these crafts? What happens to the drive to learn? to practice, to struggle through failure, and eventually succeed. It evaporates. Because why try when a machine can do it better and faster and more efficient? And let me tell you something. The process of getting good at something is just as important as being good at it. The struggle, the growth, the journey, these are the things that make us human. If we remove that from the equation, we lose a huge part of what makes life meaningful. You can already see this happening in certain industries. Look at manufacturing, for example. Robots, automation, and AI have taken over a ton of manufacturing jobs in factories. And while it's efficient, it also means that people who used to have careers building things are now out of work. You might say, well, they can just retrain for another job. Sure, in theory. But how many times are people expected to just completely reinvent themselves every few years because technology keeps moving the goalposts? That's not very sustainable in the long run, I think. And at some point, we're going to run out of new jobs for people to train for because AI will be better at everything. And no, we're not 
all just going to become creative thinkers or artists because guess what? AI is already encroaching on those spaces too. The economic impact, the wealth gap will widen. Now let's get into the economics of this because this isn't just about people losing their sense of purpose. It's all about money too, big money. Right now, we already have a massive wealth gap. The richest 1% control more wealth than the bottom 50%. AI and automation are only going to make that gap wider. Why? Because the people who own the technology, the CEOs, the investors, the big corporations, they're going to be the ones raking in the profits. Everyone else? They're going to be left scrambling for whatever scraps are left. Think about it. If AI is doing all the work, the company doesn't have to pay as many workers. But do you think those savings are going to be passed down to the everyday person? Absolutely not. Those profits are going straight to the top. You know what that leads to? Massive inequality. If you think income equality is bad now, just wait until AI takes over more industries. We're talking about a scenario where the majority of people are left with little to no economic power, while a tiny elite controls everything. That's how revolutions start, by the way. When people feel like they've been cut out of the system, when they feel like no matter how hard they try, they can't improve their situation. Again, the stripping of agency as in my previous video. That's when society starts to crumble. And don't tell me universal basic income is going to fix all these problems permanently. Giving everyone a check every month isn't going to solve the problem. Sure, sure, temporarily maybe it'll keep people from starving, but it won't solve the deeper issues of inequality, lack of purpose, and the fact that a small number of people are going to be hoarding all the wealth and resources. The collapse of human interaction in society. Now let's talk about something that's even more existential. The collapse of human interaction in social structures. We're already seeing that, you know, commonly. One of the biggest problems with this whole let AI and robots do everything fantasy is that it completely ignores the fact that humans are social creatures. We need interaction. We need community. We need to feel connected to other people. And you know what? A lot of that comes from working together. When you're part of a team, when you're contributing to a shared goal, you build bonds with the people around you. You form relationships. You become part of something bigger than yourself. Take that away and what are you left with? A bunch of isolated individuals who have nothing in common because they're not working towards anything together. You're already seeing the early stages of this, as I've said, with the rise of remote work and the gig economy. Sure, there are benefits to working from home or freelancing, but there are also downsides. People are more isolated than ever before. They're losing that sense of community that comes from working in the same space, collaborating with others, and building something together. Now, imagine that but on a massive, massive scale. Imagine a world where no one has to work at all because AI is doing everything. Sounds like a recipe for loneliness, depression, and a complete breakdown of society, if you ask me. Dependence on AI. What happens when the system fails? Here's another thing people don't think about. What happens when the AI system fails? Because let's be real, no system is perfect. Look at how often websites go down, how often companies get hacked, or how many times the algorithm messes up and delivers the wrong result. Now imagine that on a global scale. If we get to the point where AI is running everything, our factories, our healthcare, our infrastructure, everything, what happens when that system goes down? What happens if there's a glitch or worse, if someone hacks it? We've already seen how dependent we are on technology with things like power outages or server crashes. Society comes to a grinding halt. Now, scale that up to an AI-driven future and you're looking at complete chaos. If we've offloaded all of our critical thinking and problem solving to machines, then when those machines 
fail. We're screwed. We won't have the knowledge, the skills, and the infrastructure to handle it. The moral and ethical dilemma of AI control. Let's not forget about the moral and ethical implications here. If we hand over all the decision-making power to AI, we're giving up a huge part of what makes us human. We're giving up control. And I'm not just talking about control over jobs or the economy. I'm talking about control over our lives. AI doesn't have empathy. It doesn't understand human emotions or the complexities of our relationships. It makes decisions based on data, algorithm, and logic. That might sound fine for something like optimizing supply chains or managing traffic, but what happens when AI starts making decisions about who gets healthcare, who gets a job, or who gets a loan? We're already seeing this in some industries. Algorithms are deciding whether or not you get approved for a mortgage, whether or not your resume gets past the initial screening process, and even whether or not you get a promotion. Do you really want to live in a world where an algorithm is making life-altering decisions for you? Where a machine that doesn't understand you as a person is deciding your future? Because that's where we're headed if we don't start putting some serious checks and balances on AI and automation. Conclusion, we need to get our hands out of the cloud. So let me wrap this up. The idea that we're going to sit back and let AI do all the work while we live in some tech fueled utopia is a fantasy. It's not real and it's not definitely sustainable. The more we rely on machines to do everything for us, the more we lose our sense of purpose, our skills, our economic power, and our humanity. AI has its place. Yes, I do not dispute that. It can make things more efficient. But if we let it take over every aspect of our lives, we're heading straight for societal collapse. We need to get our heads out of the cloud and start thinking about the real consequences of automation and AI. Because if we don't, we're going to wake up one day and realize we've built a world that's more suited for machines than humans. To me, that's not progress. That's suicide. This has been Billy Poon. Subscribe because you're human. Stakes on me.